Welcome, I'm your host, Scott Pickles, Systems Engineer for VPN Systems. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your Motorola MC75 to an O'Neill 2TE mobile printer via Bluetooth. We begin by locating the Bluetooth icon in the lower right hand corner of your device. If you don't happen to see that, you can always select Start, Programs, and Bluetooth Explorer. But the icon should be there unless you've exited out of it uh, explicitly. So let's go ahead and click on that icon once and select Show Bluetooth Explorer. Now you see that that also says Enable Bluetooth if your Bluetooth happens to be off. Selecting Show Bluetooth Explorer will turn that Bluetooth radio on for you. And you're presented with the new connection wizard. And by default you see Explore Services on Remote Device selected. Um, we know that this is a printer, so I'm going to go ahead and drop that list down and select Connect to Printer. And click Next. The MC75 is going to take a moment to discover Bluetooth devices near it. And you can see that we've actually found two O'Neill Bluetooth printers, and I've done that specifically so that you can understand that O'Neill printers by default are named TE followed by their serial number. So if you happen to discover more than one printer, you can identify which one is yours simply by referencing the serial number found on the bottom of your O'Neill printer. Again, mine is TE02130, which is already selected. And if you don't happen to see anything here, keep in mind that Bluetooth is only a short range protocol uh, up to about 30 feet. And so you may not discover your O'Neill printer unless it's close enough to your MC75. And you also want to make sure that the Bluetooth radio on your O'Neill printer is enabled, indicated by the blinking blue light. So again, mine is already selected, the TE02130 printer. So I'm going to go ahead and click Next. And after discovering the services that the O'Neill printer provides, it's going to present me with the option to save as a favorite. I don't like that name. It's not very relevant to me. So I'm going to go ahead and clear that space out and type O'Neill printer. Click Next. And I'm going to finish by clicking on the Connect button. Now it's going to ask me what service type I want, and by default serial port is selected. Um, that's in fact what we want. And then COM port 5 is the default COM port. Uh, again, I'm going to recommend you select that as the default option, uh, unless you have other services running on your MC75 that would possibly be tying up COM port 5. So we finish by clicking OK, and you can see that my printer appears as O'Neill printer on COM 5 and the status in the lower left hand corner indicates that the connection was successful. So I'm going to go ahead and leave the Bluetooth Explorer by clicking on the X in the upper right hand corner. And you can now see that my Bluetooth icon has been updated with a double green arrow indicating successful bidirectional communication and my printer is all set to go. Thanks for listening. You can visit us on the web at www.vpnsystems.com. Vantage Point Network Systems, your wireless mobility partner.